What's up? My name is Chris Maccarello. I live in Williamstown, New Jersey. 15 years old, race 256. I first started getting riding when I was about four years old. I had a PW50. My dad introduced me to riding. He has a 19. He had a 1986 XR250, so we took it pretty easy. We did some trails. Then I went to Chatsworth for my first time with my XR80, and I found out trail bikes aren't for motocross parks. So I bought my first 150F, and I put all new parts into it, new suspension, everything. And then after that, I'm after Chatsworth came here, found out that I raced. 150R, so I got my 150R and sold that, got my 250 and here I am now. My first race, it was a hair scramble, it was at Ormond Farms, I was 11 years old and my expectations going into the race was not too high, so I kind of knew what was going to happen. I came in third place out of about eight people, so that was pretty good for me, I had a good time with that and after that it led me on to motocross and supermoto, so supermoto I raced a couple races, found out I really didn't like it. And I ended up Blue Diamond, rode pretty hard here, and found out I like to race that. So gave a couple races to Akko, found out motocross was my sport. Did pretty good, came in like fourth place out of like 10th, so it was all right. And then my, my second race I had, it was, I came in about fifth place out of 15, so that was pretty much better. So I'm just gonna advance and keep trying. Um, how I train for this is I usually I have a really busy week, so I have three days a week. I have tutoring after school and just uh, work out during the week too. So I have a lot of that during the week. And when I'm off, me and my friends, we always pit bike out back in my house. Got a sick track. And uh, well, preparing is pretty easy. Just really take it easy at home. Uh, work out maybe once or twice a week. I'm trying to get it up three times over the summer, getting a personal trainer. So um, it's gonna be pretty good for. Uh, this year in motocross, so high expectations. 2009 for me, it was a pretty good year. I came in, uh, I raced about half the season. I broke my hand halfway through the season, so I sat out last year. And um, I only got to do about three races, la three races last year. Got to do two super motos and a hair scramble, so not much motocross involved. And this year is gonna be much better, and I got high expectations. I'm gonna race that go a lot, and uh, Going to do better there, and hopefully I'm going to get into a national next year in 256. So that will go pretty good. My first, or my best race was, it had to be a Supermoto English Town. I came in third place out of about 20 people, so I did pretty good right there. And then uh, after that, we, uh, my dad took me out to dinner with a bunch of friends, had a good time there, got some race results on there. So got some, trying to get some sponsors this year, and um, that was definitely my best race, came in third out of... 20, so it was pretty good. Ten years from now, I'm probably going to look for a uh, go to A class. And if I do good in A class, I'll try to get in a pro, but you know how pros are, they go hard. And then, so, I'm going to end up like ten years from now, I want to open up a motocross shop. And if that doesn't work out, then, oh well, motocross was very fun when I was a kid and I have a lot of good memories and a lot of bad memories, so there's always good things to look forward to in the future. All um, my sponsors right now, I got Jared D. They're giving me pretty nice discounts. They're real cool there. I got to thank my dad and my mom enough. They give me the most help I could ever ask for. They got my backs all the time, cheering me to every race, every practice. So I just really got to thank them and their busy schedules. They fit me in, so I appreciate it. And um, like for some sponsors in the future. So if you see me ride at Blue Diamond, I'm here like a lot. So check me out sometime and don't be afraid to approach my trailer. Uh, and I'm just looking forward to the future and going to get some more sponsors hopefully next year. So uh, that will go good. I love motocross because you just got to respect these guys. Like, they're crazy. Like, you see them just hitting 150 foot triples and stuff. Like, you don't do that normally. You can't see a football player doing that. So, like, you got to love these guys. And, like, it's just always been attached to me since I was a kid. And I got a bunch of friends that do it. So I always have a good time with it. And, uh... 
Why wouldn't you want to love motocross? Seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna do this every day of my life. Oh my god, dude.